righty. So normally we kind of create these types of videos a little closer to Wonderland opening as information starts to kind of leak through the pipeline and soar through the sky with the little birdies. But the salt trucks are a spinning. So as I'm going to say, take everything I'm about to tell you with a huge grain of salt. Um, but the birdies have been chirping and I'm here to uh, give you guys a little like preseason um, information drop. So I'm hearing through the grapevine and as Wonderland has kind of semi confirmed, but I assumed it could have been a mistake at first. Um, 16 plus year olds will now be able to be ride operators at Canada's Wonderland. So that is a change that they made um, on top of that. Um, there are going to be some changes to Wonderland's height requirements. So the color coding of the height requirements is going to change. That is just a rumbling I'm hearing in the industry. Um, so a lot of TSSA changes, and there's going to be some IROC changes coming to the park as well. There are a few other changes that I'm not ready to discuss, but yet stay tuned for that as it's all really exciting news, especially for park employees. Um, but on top of that, I guess I can drop the news that Vikings Rage is going to receive a little enhancement. So for those of you that saw last offseason, Clockworks and uh, Swings of the Century received a little, you know, refurbishment upgrade. And now I'm hearing that Vikings Rage might be on that list. You guys already know this next piece of information. If you follow the channel closely or if you're a newer viewer... Thunder Run is um, speculated at the moment, semi-confirmed by Canada's Wonderland, to be receiving some upgrades to its theming as well. So that'll be really cool to see what that transpires into. Um, for those of you that care, um, there's going to be um, some really big enhancements to Canada's Wonderland's app. In fact, it should be launching this week or the week after. So right up on the screen, I'll show you what it should look like. This is Cedar Point. Um, the main park in the chain. So as you can see here, it's a really crisp, um, easy to use system. Super excited about it. Um, and it has a lot to offer. In fact, one of my favorite features about this new um, park app upgrade is the wait times and the park map. So that'll be really exciting to see as um, I, I think it's really user friendly. Um, and it has a lot of uh, abilities such as adding your credit card and debit card in there. Um, and from what I fully expect, what isn't on there yet is mobile ordering and um, purchasing your tickets and being able to print them at a machine um, and the new fast lane feature that we should be seeing as well. So you should be able to upload your fast lane um, onto this app. And uh, yeah, so that's really exciting. Um, I'm just showing it on the screen for you guys so you guys can get a, a quick look at it. It's very user-friendly, and I, I love it. It's such a huge improvement. In other news, Wonderland has started its hiring process. So if you are looking for the job for the 2024 season, um, definitely start applying now as the hiring process has started, and um, it'll be taking place over the next two to four weeks. Um, and then onboarding is also taking place, and then obviously training. So if you're looking for a job, definitely get on top of that right now as they've just started hiring. And as I said, you can now operate rides at the starting age of 16. Any further news involving construction projects for the 2024 and 2025 season will continue to be daily construction updates as the channel moves to more aggressive coverage of construction projects. Um, with all the information that we've been receiving, I would definitely look forward to our Friday or Saturday podcasts. Again, we will update everyone about two days before and which day we'll host the podcast. Um, but yeah, not much else to report. Um, there are um, some very interesting surveying going on. Um, there's two versions of surveying, and I'm just addressing this, and this is no shade to any of the the other content creator that... Uh, had made a comment about this at all. And I truly mean that this isn't shade. I'm just going to state what I know um, and definitely put out there a little enhancement to what was said. So the surveying that has happened over the park um, this entire season has been surveying that has been submitted to the Ontario government um, and to companies that are going to do stuff with it. So that was submitted to engineering firms. There is surveying that has started in the last two weeks that is done by the head of construction and planning at Canada's Wonderland. In fact, this person comes all the way from Ontario Place um, and has made such a huge enhancement um, to Canada's Wonderland's job lineup. So that is separate surveying um, and is for separate purposes. 
But yeah, all the main surveying that has happened at Canada's Wonderland this season has been submitted to engineering firms for projects. Um, surveying is a, a specific tool that is used um, as almost like a pre-state that is meant to be handed off to an engineering firm um, before construction starts on a project. Anyways, I just wanted to touch on that. Again, no shade. I just wanted to present what I know about what's happening at Wonderland. Um, and I do know that I, I, I like to talk about construction and all that because it's something that I greatly understand now with my channel being around through Yukon and learning through a lot of mistakes that I made myself. But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed today's construction update. I, this isn't a construction update. Hopefully you enjoyed today's update about everything new so far for the 2024 season. Stay tuned because I am learning a lot almost daily now about some changes that are coming to Canada's Wonderland in the 2024 season. So thanks so much for watching, guys, um, and see you in tomorrow's update. Bye.